Welcome to the fourth video where I'm going to show you how to use components that not that's not necessarily in LT Spice. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to find Spice models, how to extract the information, and then how to import the model into LT Spice. So Let's say you have a transistor that is not available in the simulation software. I made a design that uses a TIP31 and the TIPS is not in LT Spice and now I want to do a simulation. So first we're going to hop onto Google. Right. So we want to be looking for spice models. So we type in spice model and all list of information will appear. Okay. What I found is if you type in spice models for first one that pops up is from National Instruments where they explain uh, spice models and the fundamentals of it. And if you scroll down here, they have a list of manufacturers and their websites and what these people specialize in. Okay. So this is also what you will find on the data sheet is what manufacturer um, fabricated the, the IC or the transistor. Um, no need to worry too much about analog devices. Most of the analog devices is in LT Spice since they own LT Spice. Um, the data sheet for the tip that I have is from On Semiconductor. So let's go to their web page. They have a nice search bar. And you can see that I already searched for the tip 31 earlier. I'm just going to go ahead there and type in tip 31. And it will bring up the data sheets and what also have available the packagings all of that if you look here so this is going to be a searching mission if you need to find a spice model for something um, so it might be tedious and, and following this route through the national um, instruments web page is the easiest route that I found okay there is eight models available for the TIP31. Okay, I'm using the TIP31A. So there is four models. The one that I found works best for LT Spice is the Spice 3 model. The P Spice model also works. Um, but sometimes you will find models that doesn't necessarily work immediately and you need to know a bit about the parameters to fix it or to re um, retype it into a specific format okay so be on the lookout for spice free and be spice models so we're going to click here it will download the model for us and you will see that this is in a dot sp3 format which is not something that your computer would recognize so you go ahead and tell it to show it in the folder for you right click open with and select notepad after you opened it in notepad you will find that it is just a normal text format thing so select everything and copy it and you can go ahead and close everything. 
So after you closed everything and you open your LT, here I have my already designed circuit and I placed a NPN symbol so long and set up the simulation parameters. You can pause the video and quickly go and do that. When you're done, the spice model that we just copied is you select this button right here, which is .op, and it's for spice commands. And you just paste it the information from the text document in there. Click OK, and put it somewhere on your schematic. Okay, now we can have a nice look at this model. Everything with stars is comments and you can actually delete it. It's not necessary for you to keep it in there. Dot model is where our model starts. You can see when we're doing a transient, it starts with dot trans, so it's a spice command. This one here for the AC setup has a semicolon. And that means that that one is not valid at this point. But a uh, moment it's it's commented out. Okay. The second one here is tip 31A that tells us the transistor name. The third one here is it must be connected to NPN symbol. Okay, so we can just make this tip 31A. Okay, if this is capitals, this must be capitals, this is small letters. This must be small letters. Right. Now, in here is all the factory parameters for this transistor. We'll find the saturation current, the forward um, beta value. Okay, so this is a large forward beta. This means it is a Darlington pair transistor also means that we will have a larger voltage drop across VBE. Okay, in here you will find the junction capacitances, the transition frequency, the resistance of a base material, so resistance of emitter, the resistance of a collector. All the stuff that you can include in a small signal model when you're modeling this is in here. Okay, there's the early voltage, which is 10 volts. So, all of those parameters that we usually use, you will find in here. So, if all these parameters are known to you using this same kind of format, you can actually make up your own spice model for an MPN transistor. But there is a lot of information available on the internet on this if you really need to do this. Okay, so you can dot model whatever name you want to be and MOSFET or diode because there is a couple of standard models to find. Okay, but we're not going to go too deep into this. Okay, so my already designed circuit, I added the model and we're first going to do a transient analysis. So if I click here, there's our input voltage and there's our output voltage. So our circuit works with this model included. If the model is not correct, the simulator will throw out a lot of errors to you it will actually open a window and tell you that there's something wrong with a model that you're trying to include okay so our simulation there is done if we want to do the ac we can just change the semicolon into a dot we click run, it's going to tell us to choose one of the simulations because it sees that there is two available. And just select the AC, click OK, it will comment out 
the transient and there's our AC. Since this is a common collector setup, here at higher frequencies, our transfer is at 0 dBs. So a 1 to 1 transfer. If we actually make this a bit larger in our AC analysis, we won't have such a big loss like we had. Okay, that is how to include spice models. You can do the same for um, for op amps. All right, for the next one, I have set up a, a op amp circuit. I want a gain of ten. And for you guys, you use the TL074 in the lab, and LT Spice does not have a TL074. So the op amp that you use is op amp 2, which says that you should have a sub circuit located somewhere. So let's open. Google here and we say TL074 model. Right, then you're going to go through the searches as normal. Um, typically, the first one would be kind of useful. So, Texas Instruments has a, a TL074, so you can always go to the vendor or the data sheet that you're using and whatnot. And here is a piece spice model for this op amp. So if we click this, it will download it into a, a zip file. You can open the zip file and again there is a file that you can't read. So right click, tell it to open it use notepad and you'll see that it is normal text again so select everything let's close this go to our LT spice add a spice command and add our transist uh, our op amp okay so there is a lot of parameters here, there is a lot of components, it is a bit of a mess. But if we run this, it tells me I have not done a sub circuit because I have to rename this to TL074. Run and the circuit works. One volt, and there is our circuit running. Right. Now, this is a bit bulky, and we don't really want to include this whole thing right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Let's go back to this. download that we made earlier okay now we're going to take this file and we're going to copy it and we're going to navigate to our documents alti spice and you're just going to paste it in here okay and then you are going to change the extension of this file to txt make it the text file it's going to complain do you want to change it yes you want to change it okay so this file is now saved in where this document is located our draft 10 so if we open it here draft 10 is in the exact folder that i just navigated to okay so it is now accessible to this schematic. Now we're going to say add a spice command, say dot 
include and say tl074.txt txt that we just renamed it to paste it here and we are ready to go and there's our simulation and it ran okay so you can take all of this bulkiness away just by placing everything in a text file you can even do that for the tip model of a previous problem put it in a text file give it a name and just do a dot include and you don't have all of that overhead running on your schematic okay so again everything with a dot is a command if we make this a dot again we want to run it we can now select between our different simulations and there's our simulation now it ran and we increase this we gain bandwidth with decrease yeah so there is the method to include your spice models and how to put them into files how to use a different op amp and that's available and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.